looks like a little short cat. This is the munchkin, a cute cat that's a little vertically challenged. The munchkin's like the little wiener cat. Named after the munchkins and the Wizard of Oz, this kitty's abnormally short legs are the result of a naturally occurring genetic mutation that gives them more mobility than you might think. The munchkin moves like a ferret. They're incredibly quick and active on the ground. The gene responsible for this dwarf cat's short legs is similar to the one that gives dachshunds, basset hounds, and Welsh corgis their short stature. But breeding munchkins can be tricky business. If you breed a munchkin to a munchkin, one quarter of all the cats born to that mating will die. Responsible breeders widen the gene pool to avoid fatalities or serious health problems. But while dogs with this dwarf gene can suffer from back problems, munchkin cats actually fare much better. The cats don't have the back problems that the dogs do because their spine is more flexible than a dog's. In the U.S., the munchkin was first popularized after appearing on the front page of the Wall Street Journal in 1995. The foundation for today's breed can only be traced back to 1983, though, when a pregnant munchkin named Blackberry was discovered under a pickup truck in Louisiana. But there have been references to this short cat throughout history and around the world. This medium-bodied cat comes in a cornucopia of colors, patterns, and two main coat lengths. Some munchkins have plush short coats, and others have silky long ones. But the breed's most obvious feature is its unusually short legs, which may be bowed and come in three sizes, standard, super short, and rug hugger. I can only imagine how short the rug hugger's legs are. This munchkin is so little that her owner has to look where she's going. This girl is small enough that when I get up in the morning and throw my legs over the bed, I might step on her. If you're considering adopting a munchkin, keep these things in mind. Seek out a reputable breeder, and you're much more likely to get a healthy kitty. Munchkins can suffer from some genetic problems, like lordosis, a dip in the spine in front of the shoulder blades that can constrict the heart, lungs, and trachea. Milder cases cause breathing problems or cardiac distress, but some cases are more serious. This constriction, as the heart and lungs grow, it becomes a lethal problem. But grooming these short-legged cats is a straightforward job. Brush the short-haired varieties once a week, and the long-haired just a bit more. You need to make sure that you keep their coat mat free. And these little creatures are not insecure about their height. Active and outgoing, they get along with everyone. The munchkins are great with children. They get along with other pets. The long and short of it is that the munchkin is usually a healthy cat when responsibly bred. The grooming requirements are average, and it fits in well in most families because it's a playful and fun-loving cat. Yes, the munchkin is small in stature, but great things come in small packages.